Hi everyone, I am, it is Easter today at my house and I am hosting and I'm going to make for you a wonderful chicken roulade. I'm going to start with the filling and see what um, we do with it. So in the pan, hot pan, I have one wash and cut leek. I love leeks. They are so mild tasting. You really can tell that you've got a leek inside your food. Oops, little little end of an asparagus got in. They're a little bit different than onion and shallots. And they're just a nicer flavor. So what I'm doing is just softening the vegetables. I'm not trying to cook them. And this is going to be really quick. And I've got asparagus, my favorite vegetables. I call them asparagus because I love them so much. <laughs> so what you do with these is just snap them off at the end. And I save the ends because these are a wonderful addition to your stock chicken or vegetable or beef stock. So I'm just snapping it off where the natural harder part is. And I'm just going to cut them in half and you'll see why. I want big pieces. And I'm just sauteing them a little bit just to give them some flavor. I'm going to add some pepper. No salt because what I'm using has plenty of salt in it, so I don't need to add it. So I'm just sauteing them for a minute, and I'll see you back in here in no time at all. I'm back. So in my serving casserole, I am putting two, ta two to three tablespoons of this wonderful red pepper paste. It's just red pepper ground with salt to preserve it in this jar. You could buy it in any of the um, international aisles of your grocery store and it's fabulous. And it has lots of salt in it so that you don't need to add too much salt to the rest of your food. In this I'm adding one cup of white wine and you can add chicken broth if you'd like to give it flavor as well. I prefer the white wine because it's a fancy meal, so I want it to be a little bit more special. And that's where all my chicken is gonna go. So this is my chicken roulade. In my bowl, I have one roasted garlic, which I squeezed out and mashed with a fork. I've got half a container of my favorite flavor, Urban Garlic Philadelphia Cream Cheese. And I'm just gonna start to mash it up and if you watched my first video of appetizers, I went outside to get some chives. Well, they've grown three times the amount, and look at that. So I've got a good three tablespoons of chives, and I'm just gonna mix it up. And this is gonna be the filling inside the chicken roulade, and roulade is just a fancy word for rolled in French. And that's it. This is how simple this is. I've got two teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and I'm putting that in cornflakes. Everybody loves cornflakes. I know I used to always eat them growing up, and this enables me not to fry the product, and I can just bake it, and it has a great crispy texture on top. My asparagus is cooling off, and I am ready to go. I've got one egg in here beaten with a tiny bit of water to make an egg wash and when I do one uh, it, like this I can really spread the egg everywhere. Now I'm making a large amount of chicken breast but for the recipe I'm asking for three chicken breasts split in half so you just take them and you split them this way and you get two pieces of breast and when it's rolled and filled it's a nice little neat package and it becomes quite large. If it was one full breast, it would be too large for you to roll anything in it because it's quite thick. I'm just gonna wash my hands, make sure that I don't have any egg or chicken on them, although they will get dirty again because I'm dipping. So I have my chicken. I'm just going to layer it with one piece of prosciutto. That's a nice salty ham. I'm going to put a dollop 
of my mixture of Philly on there. I'm going to take one spare, guys, and just nestle it inside, and the Philly cream cheese holds it. And I like the fact that it's a little bit bigger than the chicken because that way when people get the packet, they'll be able to see it. And it's one nice little neat packet. So I'm just going to scoop it up. You don't even need toothpicks on some of them if they're long enough because they're going seam down. And that's it. I'm just going to do a few more for you so that you can see how it's done. Very easy. And if the prosciutto breaks, that's okay. You just grab some more pieces from the other side. No one's going to see the inside. A little bit of scoop of Philly. Wish I could do more, but it would ooze out. Some asparagus. Put some leeks in. We don't want to forget any of those. And this is, if I didn't mention before, three chicken breasts, which become six pieces. And you can make it according to however size your family is or however big the party is going to be. And if someone doesn't like the vegetables, don't put it in. You can do some without. I'll be back soon. I'm back. I've done all the chicken little bundles and I had a whole bunch of fillets left over because I deboned the chicken myself, which is economical for me. But if you don't have the time, you can just buy the chicken breast already deboned. So I have a lot of chicken tenders that I just decided to coat in cornflakes in case the little kids don't want the big sophisticated type. So now I can um, change the different things with the chicken so that you can get whatever you want in that chicken. I'm just going to pop it in the oven. This needs to go in the oven right away. That's why it's done so quickly because you don't want any contamination with the raw ingredients inside and the chicken on the outside. Look at this, golden, moist, and they're done. So I'm just gonna take one out and show you. And you can just take out the long stick from the chicken. And I'm gonna cut right into the center so you can see it done. I've paired it with grilled vegetables on the barbecue. And look at that, you can see the beautiful large size of asparagus. Let me see if I can get some prosciutto in here. The chicken is tender. How do you know that the chicken is cooked? If you can put your knife all the way through without any resistance, that chicken is cooked and it's so moist and tender. Mmm, hot. The asparagus is still tender. The creaminess of the Philly cheese and oh, it's so delicious. I hope you try this and I hope you like it. Have a great holiday. Bye.